I'm Natalie Jones, The Skin Coach, and welcome to this video series that I'm creating in partnership with the Vitiligo Society who are doing an amazing job supporting all of us with Vitiligo. In this video, I'm going to cover three things I wish I'd known sooner about having vitiligo or any other skin condition. Number one, I wish I'd known sooner that my skin did not have to hold me and does not need to hold me back from having a life I love. I really thought that in order to attract the kind of relationships and life I wanted, I had to have perfect skin. And because I didn't have perfect skin by society standards, I thought that meant I, I guess I had to put my dreams on hold until I did have perfect skin again. And what I've realized is that this is absolutely not the truth, that we are all, you and me and everyone, are all worthy and already good enough that we don't need perfect skin to feel good in ourselves. So that's um, point number one, is to know that you are already worthy and good enough no matter how your skin shows up. Point number two was that I also, I felt um, if I ever, say I went to a, a wedding or some a really important event, I would put on makeup and maybe wear things to cover up my skin. And I still felt a little bit guilty though, like I was, an imposter that I was trying to that I was putting on this um, appearance of being perfect but deep down I wasn't so I just wanted to also share that with you because I realized that over time I've grown to realize it doesn't matter whether we wear makeup and cover our skin up or we don't it, it really doesn't matter we are still the same person it goes back to point one we're still worthy we're still good enough and we also deserve to feel comfortable in ourselves, to not feel guilty or like an imposter or anything like that, any negative emotions. So please just really be yourself and whether you um, choose to wear makeup or not, however you show up, please don't worry about um, what other people are thinking because you are still amazing and it doesn't matter how you show up to the world. And then point number three I wanted to share with you is also sometimes when we're in public and people are staring, we can think that this um, is evidence that there's something wrong with us. That's, that's what I thought anyway. And it would really make me feel very uncomfortable, particularly say in summer uh, when we have to, uh, when it's hot and we, we like to expose our skin more and perhaps if we're going to the beach, I was um, feeling uncomfortable when people would stare at my skin. And I thought that meant there was something wrong with me. And now I choose to have a different mindset about it, which is we don't, we're not mind readers. We actually don't know what's going on in the other person's mind when they look at our skin. So I've cho decided to choose a more helpful thought, which is, I'm just gonna assume that they're just curious that that is another human being being curious because they haven't seen vitiligo before. And I actually think, and I really believe this now, that 99% of the time that's actually more likely to be the truth than them thinking some ju judgmental thought about us. So maybe it's, um, it might, you might find that helpful. Next time someone stares and if you notice in yourself um, a sort of a negative emotion or uh, you start to feel a bit um, uncomfortable about it, remind yourself that this is simply another human being curious. It's not a reflection of your worth or your value. And over time, if you keep practicing that, I hope it will get a little bit easier for you because you absolutely deserve to feel comfortable in your skin, no matter how our skin shows up. So that's it for our first video. I hope you found that helpful and uh, please continue to stay subscribed uh, to the Vitiligo Society's emails and, uh, and if you would like to see more, um, there are uh, details of how you can see more of my uh, videos and, and other posts I do, uh, both on Instagram and, and on my website. And I hope you really enjoy this day because you absolutely deserve that. Have a great day.